Giants versus Tigers game four and the Giants hoping this is their final pregame powwow as they look to complete the World Series sweep. Max Scherzer on the hill for Detroit facing Brandon Belt in the second with a man at second. The line shot to right which barely misses becoming a two run home run. Hunter Pence will score after he reached with a ground rule double. Belt will gladly settle for the ribby triple and the Giants on the board first as they grab the early one nothing lead. Matt Cain on the hill for San Francisco in this one as he faces Quinton Berry. Bottom three with a man aboard. Berry lays down the bunts. Cain sidesteps a charging Pablo Sandoval. The one hopper is picked by Brandon Belt to retire Berry. What could have been disastrous is instead another defensive gem for the Giants. Austin Jackson moved up to second on the play in the next batter. Miguel Cabrera, he launches this one the opposite way for a two-run shot off Cain. The Tigers on top 2-1. That snaps the Giants' streak of 56 consecutive innings without trailing. But then the Giants' defense would take over, specifically Brandon Crawford. He makes an outstanding play on the hard smash by Prince Fielder as the big slugger is retired. The outstanding glove work by the National League champions continues, and Crawford just getting warmed up. Bottom five, another tremendous play off the hard grounder by Barry. It deflected off Kane, and Barry robbed of another infield single on another great play by Crawford. Side retired. It remains a 2-1 Tiger lead. Top six now, Marco Scudero leading off the frame. Chops this one up the third baseline. Tough play for Cabrera. He can't make it. Scudero safe on the single, and the Giants put the lead off man aboard. Two batters later, it is Buster Posey who now digs in facing Max Scherzer. Posey swings and it's a high fly ball down the left field line. This one well hit. It is gone. KNBR with the call. Posey puts the Giants on top three to two. That is his first long ball of the fall classic. But the Tigers would even things up in their half of the sixth. Delman Young rediscovering the home run stroke he had in the ALCS. That's his first long ball of the World Series. And with that, we're all tied up at three runs apiece. Later on in the frame, man aboard two down for Johnny Peralta, who gives this one a ride to deep left. Looks like it may also leave the yard, but Gregor Blanco gloves it just in front of the wall. Our game remains tied at three runs apiece. Bottom eight now, Jeremy F. Felt relieving Kane after a leadoff walk. The lefty comes back to fan Miguel Cabrera and Prince Fielder, and then Delman Young also goes down. Affelt strikes out the heart of the Tigers' order. We remain tied at three. Quite a feat by Affelt, and one that was matched by Phil Coke in the top of the ninth. He sets down Hunter Pence, Brandon Belt, and Gregor Blanco. Coke setting a record with seven consecutive strikeouts over the course of a single World Series. Bottom nine now, it's Affelt facing Johnny Peralta, who lifts this one to deep left center. Angel Pagan tracking it. The ball seems to carry at the last moment, but Pagan sticks with it and puts it away. Good illustration here of just how strong the wind was. Pagan with a nice job battling the tricky conditions. Tigers would not score, and game four is headed to extras. Top ten, Giants have the go-ahead run at second base with two men away as Phil Coke faces Marco Scudero. And Scudero lines one into center field. Jackson will have to play it on a bounce. Terrio tearing around third. Here comes the throw of the slide. He's safe at home plate. And the Giants have gone ahead four to three. And it's the playoff hero, Marco Scudero, who comes through again. Courtesy of KNBR, so we go to the bottom of the 10th. Sergio Romo trying to nail down the final three outs, beginning the frame by getting Austin Jackson on strikes. Then it's pinch hitter Don Kelly who can't find it. That's out number two. And now it's Romo facing none other than Miguel Cabrera. Romo's 2-2 pitch on the way. Cabrera takes strike three called. And the Giants have won the World Series in Detroit. And the celebration begins as the Giants mob the mound. Cabrera strikes out looking to end it. And not only have the Giants won the World Series, they have swept the Tigers in four games in dominant fashion. Thanks again to KNBR. The San Francisco Giants are the 2012 World Series champs following a 4-3-10 inning win over the Tigers as they complete a four-game sweep. They become the first National League team to sweep the Fall Classic since the Reds in 1990. The Giants were the 24th team to win the first three games of the World Series and the 21st to complete the sweep. It's their seventh World Series title in franchise history and their second in three years. 
Pavel Sandoval named your World Series MVP. The Panda hit 500 in the series and belted three home runs all in game one. For more, let's join Pete McCarthy and Jack Morris at Comerica Park. Well, after game three, Hunter Pence said baseball is all about momentum. And the Giants certainly had it after game three, and they carried it over to game four. Did this team just become a runaway train? You know, I really think they had that chemistry. Whatever that is, uh, they had it, and it continued right in through the World Series. You know, they caught the breaks, and they always say that great teams create good breaks for themselves. The Giants uh, just did everything right, and I don't think there was one game that you could argue that said the Giants didn't play better against the Tigers. It takes preparation to create those breaks. Did you think the Giants' preparation might have been superior this time around? Well, I think they're, the way they approached the hitters, I think their pitching staff uh, was better prepared. I think their scouting reports was right on. And they executed a little bit better than the Tigers did uh, with the pitching staff. Now, you can't take away what Scherzer and, and Sanchez and uh, uh, Fister did, mm -hmm. but bottom line is equally well the, the Giants pitched, too. Uh, that entire Giants pitching staff uh, pitched outstanding, but how about Matt Cain? He uh, doesn't win game four, yep. but he pitched very well, seven innings, three runs. He actually... Uh, pitched and started the deciding game of all yeah. three of the uh, playoff victories for uh, the San Francisco Giants. I mean, what, what does that say about a guy like Matt Cain and his maturation into a, a certified ace? Well, they, the tw uh, Tigers actually uh, hit better tonight, and he was able to endure it and somehow turn it over to the bullpen, who's been fantastic yeah. here in the postseason for the Giants. And, you know, I think this was a team of destiny. If, if you ever saw a group of characters uh, celebrating out here tonight <laughs> right now, uh, you got to say this is a team of destiny. Yeah, there are a few teams that have uh, enjoyed a World Series championship more than the San Francisco Giants as they sweep the Detroit Tigers.